Guten Tag, welcome back to CFC TV. This is my preview of the Leicester City vs Chelsea game. Um, for the first time ever in this channel, in the uh, history of this channel in HD as well. <laughs> Hope you guys do enjoy that as well. Um, so yeah, um, the first thing obviously Leicester is top of the league at the moment. We're 14th and um, you know obviously if you look at that we're definitely underdogs. But um, if you still look at the squads we should really be able to beat them. But um, the way we've been playing this season, you know, it's it's going to be very difficult. Um, the crazy thing is, at this point last year, we were top of the league and Leicester were bottom of the league. I remember before the last um, like match day, I think it was, we were 26 points ahead of them at this point last year. And now we're 17 points behind them. It's crazy. Um, but yeah, I think we have to look at this game just like when... We, we, it, just like we would be playing a big team, you know. Um, the way we've been playing, I mean, I know we ha haven't conceded a lot of goals lately, four clean sheets and just one goal against Bournemouth, but um, we haven't been scoring a lot either, you know, on goal against Paul. I know William scored then, but, you know, still, they haven't been scoring a lot of goals, except against Tel Aviv, but, you know, they're not that good, let's be honest. Um, but we have to look at it like it's a huge game, like a big opponent. We just, I think the only way that we can actually beat them is by playing like we play Arsenal, playing like we play City. We, like, the perfect example of how we should play was Man City um, back in Jose's first season away when Ivanovic scored the 1 0 winner. Um, you know, we have to be very solid at the back because Vardy and Maris will punish us if we're not. And um, we just have to be clinical and have to, you know, convert the few chances that we will have in the match. I'm 100% I'm sure that we will have chances. You know, obviously, if Diego misses huge chances again, it's going to be even more difficult to win that game. Um, but I still see there being a chance. Um, but as I said, I think we have to sit back. Obviously, everybody's fit now. Falcao is fit as well. I'm not sure if he will make the squad. I'm 99% sure he won't start. But, um, it's still good, you know. Um, I think you could clearly see after the Portland match how much of a difference John Terry makes. I know a lot of people have been saying, like, his legs are gone, he's too old now and he's too slow now and all that kind of stuff. But you could see how much better we defended against Porto than we did against Bournemouth. I know Porto didn't really cause us any trouble, but um, you never know if Bournemouth wouldn't have caused us any trouble if John Terry would have played next to, J to Kurt Zuma. So you never know that. Um, but I just felt like John Terry and Kurt Zuma is the best partnership we have at the moment. John, uh, Gary Cale is a great defender, a very good defender, but... I mean, I would play him with John Terry, I, I would be okay with that, but I wouldn't play Kurt Zuma and Gary Cale. That's just not the way to go at this moment in time. We need the leadership of John Terry on the pitch, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, I mean... As I said, we, we we it's important that we you know are, are just solid. We haven't we you know we've beat them twice last season. We beat them two and at the bridge, and we beat them three one away. So um and it's basically the same team. They haven't bought big players. We haven't bought big players except Pedro, who we don't even know will start. Um, so it's it's just so weird. Like if you think about it, as a Chelsea fan, we just. It's, it's almost like we have to win that match. If we don't, it's an embarrassment. But it's actually somehow the other way around. If Leicester lose to us, it's sort of an embarrassment to them. I mean, Bournemouth beat us, you know. So um, it's really weird, but I just, I just still can't get my head around how badly we're doing. Because every game I think, well, we can win this. We have the better team, we have the better squad, we have the better manager. But it's just, you know, I don't know. Um, my 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 lineup prediction would be the same back four. I would go with Ivanovic and Aspilicueta again. Obviously, John Terry and Kurt Zuma. Courtois would still stay in goal. I have a feeling that says Fabregas might start again next to Matic, but um, I would go stick with Ramirez and Matic, and you know I would just stick with a complete team because Oscar had a good performance. Um, even though Pedro is maybe a little bit better on the counter attack, but I think if we don't play Fabregas, Oscar has to play because they're a little bit similar players. Oscar has that pass in him, maybe not as much as Fabregas, but at the moment probably more. But um, I feel like if we don't play Fabregas, we have to play Oscar to have some kind of 
playmaker because neither Hazard, William nor Pedro really is that because they're all like mainly about taking on players, getting past them and being, you know, really quick. But that's not what Oscar is about. He's about finding space. He's about, you know, having a good shot in him as well. Not often that he's shown it, but, you know, he does. And, um, yeah, so, uh, as I said, Ramirez and Matic, then Hazard, Oscar, William and Diego Costa up front because I think he did well against Porto. I know he didn't score, his finishing was a Poland, but still, I think he did well. Um, my my score prediction, I'm just, I'm just going to say what I think is possible and I think we can win this game 1-0 I would, I would take a draw at this moment in time but we basically need to win to have any chance of still securing top 4 but um, like a 1-0 a win to us, a 1-1 or maybe a 2-1 loss you know, that, that's what I'm feeling uh, but I'm gonna stick with the 1-0 win and um, yeah a few other little things that happened midweek. Diego Costa talked about the Bib incident and he sort of said it was an impulsive, stupid direction and, you know, everything he sorted with Mourinho has a good relationship with him and everything's fine, which is good to hear. And you could clearly see that in the, his, um, like, performance against Porto and apparently they had a, like, a one-on-one -on -one discussion, which is really good. I think that's important sometimes. And, um... Yeah, so, um, basically that was it for me. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Leave me... Your thoughts about anything else that I've missed or anything else that you want to say leave it a lot leave it a like rating below I hope you guys do enjoy the HD video as well and um yeah keep the blue flag flying high and see you for a review on Monday night <laughs>